like a great tapestry. Vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. You may have cursed this never-ending journey. You have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. Your inborn intelligence and courage have helped you bring you here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how much your power has grown? Now you could feel, now you could fell enemies in Annette and Tucson with one blow. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Gygus, the arc fiend of the universe, is growing frightened of you and your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. From here, the challenge grows, and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gygus. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. Ness, Paula, Jeff, Who, I wish you luck. No, that's the last time I ever get. I ever, that's the last time I'll ever get some free tea from some weird fuck. Every time I get tea from somebody, this shit always happens. Anyways, what is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, I freed everyone from the Stonehenge base. I got a bunch of crap here from the Tenda Village and whatnot. They're no longer shy. They're able to talk fully now. This guy moved the boulder and whatnot. And I was a little scared. Not from this Mo Moai. Fuck. Wikipedia, are you still here? No! Moai. There we go. Moai. There we go. Thank you very much, Mr. Wikipedia. Mr. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. I wasn't scared about this Moai looking ass thing. I was more scared about the fact that we seem to be having another dungeon here. Or at least that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna be real with you. Say that I wasn't prepared for this. And again, this entire game has just been Dungeon City throughout. I guess I shouldn't be too upset. It's just that I, I generally don't know if I'm doing the right thing or whatnot. Like the T says, I haven't seen that fuck Pokey in a really long time. And I don't know where all of this is taking me. All I just know is that this is the closest thing that I have to any leads or whatnot. I don't even know what's down here. All I just know is that there's supposedly a talking rock down here. And holy shit, 18k XP, that's a lot. Hey, my boy Jeff got the funny number. He's the funny number now. It, yeah, I don't even know why I'm down here. All I just know is that I am. Oh, dude, come on. At least, at least I'm able to jump on these guys. The, I, I, the, these guys, they do. They're probably like the smiling spheres from the fucking dusty dunes desert, aren't they? They're probably similar to like that. Uncontrollable sphere. Cool, I guess? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have spied on him. 
Jeff can take care of him, right, Jeff? Never mind, Jeff can't. Jeff, you had one, <laughs> he had one job. Well, actually, no. Who was it I missed? It was Ness. Why am I getting mad at Jeff? Fuck you, Ness. And now I have to take all this damage for because of you. God, damn it. And all for what? 5k experience? Don't get me started. What, what, what's up, Moai looking ass? The underground talking rock seems to want to talk a lot, more than I do. Interesting, interesting. A super bomb! Hooray! Like I need more of them. Cool. Very cool. Very interesting. Since I have this ridiculous super bomb here, I might as well just get rid of it as soon as possible. Look, I don't know. I'm just not big on the super bombs and whatnot. The multi, uh, the big ball rockets, even the big ball rockets did more damage than super bombs, from what I remember. Obviously, multi ball bomb, multi balls are just gonna fucking destroy everything here and there. I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna deal with this useless item in my inventory. So holy shit, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for me to get eye on those guys last time. Oh man, I don't know if I want to go down the hole if I wanted to go down the ladder. I'll go down the ladder, see how that goes. Uh, but you see, maybe I should use PSI, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, I don't know if these guys are gonna, I don't know if these guys are gonna fucking destroy me or whatnot. I just don't want to deal with them, they're, they're everywhere. Oh my god, these guys have PSI Magnet. Maybe I should take them out right away. You know, despite the fact that I talk a lot of shit about super bombs, from what I was reading, the heavy bazooka is basically. Oh, you're kidding me here. From what I was reading, the, the heavy bazooka is just basically this it's just basically a super bomb. But the difference between the bazooka and the super bomb is that at least I can use the super bomb multiple fucking times. Also, I should probably spy on them instead of using the bazooka. At the very least, I can use the heavy bazooka as many times as I want to. And Ness, what is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Oh my god, you could have ended him. You could have ended him, but you didn't. And you know what? We're all crying because of your bullshit here. What do we have here? IQ capsule. Hmm. Try give it to Jeff. I know he's pretty big brain and all, but eventually there is a point in time where he ha where I just don't need as much IQ for him anymore because isn't there like. When I when I was reading about Jeff, it said something about uh, his IQ determines whether or not he could fix shit or whatnot. Isn't there a point in time? I'm trying to say, isn't there a point in time where he has enough IQ that he can fix anything that he can find? Let me check it out real quickly. Yeah, it says here, um, 65, 65 IQ is when he can fix everything. The last thing that he actually can get is. A, Broken antenna from uncontrollable spheres. Oh, would you look at that? We just fought into them a few few moments ago. Well, the better question is now. The better question is now. Who do I give the IQ to? I don't know if I should give it to S. Should I give it to Paula? Should I give it to Jeff? Should I give it to Pooh? This right here, IQ increases your PSI power by 5 during a level up. <sighs> you know what? I'm thinking about this way too much. About this way too much. I just need my boy Jeff to have the biggest brain known to mankind. I'll be fine with that. I don't need to think anymore about that. I'm fine with him being the biggest brain on the entire team. What I'm not fine with is how many of these guys I have to fight with. PSI Rockin' Omega. Ooh. 
if I'm over here talking about how much I absolutely hate PSI Gamma, I can't even imagine what the fuck Omega does. Actually, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, because I have the power of time and space on my hands, let's just rock the absolute fuck out of this guy. Eight hundred for ninety? Did I read that correctly? A deadly psychic can equate that is about six hundred. So eight hundred was on the high end. On average, it's six hundred for ninety-eight power points. You are just actively making this the worst PSI ability in the entire game. At least it does twice as much, like literally twice as much as PSI Gamma. But PSI Gamma is so awful. It's so awful. Mathematically speaking, mathematically speaking, actually, let me pull up the calculator real quick. Let me pull up the calculator. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not. I'm not here to talk about mathematics and whatnot. I'm just here to play the game. You guys are here to watch me play the game. The item of kings. I'm a stead of kings. That sounds like something related to poo. Miscellaneous equipment that can only be used by poo. Increases defense. I'll take it. I'll take it. Item of Kings, that's some good defense right there. My boy Pooh is saucing up. He's just as he just had he's just as sauced up as Jeff at this point in time. He honestly is just as sauced up as Jeff. And he doesn't even have body armor. But you know what Jeff does have? Multi bottles. Multi bottles. But I'm not gonna be using multi bottles on weak enemies like these. I say weak despite the fact that they can kind of kick my ass. If I keep missing my shots. Also, I forgot to turn back time. Alright, so we got the Dynam of Kings once again. But at the very least, I managed to turn back clock. So I wouldn't have to waste 98 PSI on something as terrible as PSI rocking Omega on one of these flubby things. Dog. I pressed A, I pressed A, I didn't even equip it. I didn't even equip it. Alright, where does this hole lead me to then? It leads me back to this asshole! A luck capsule. Interesting, who needs luck the most? I'll just give it to whoever needs luck the most. Oh my god, Jeff. Jeff, my boy, what is wrong with you? 82 luck from this. 87 luck from Paula. 55 from you! Jesus Christ, my boy. You're supposed to be stacked over here, and yet you're over here with no luck, no bitches. You're not gonna get any bitches without luck, Jeff. Oh, would you look at that? Another one of these Moai looking guys. Thanks for talking to me. Hey, no problem, Chief. I'm always down for a good talk. What I'm not down for is a bad fight. I mean, I'm down with a good fight, but these guys are just bad. Not only are they shit, not only do they just die immediately like this, but they they still they still hit hard. Like I understand, <laughs> I understand the mentality of going down with a fight. That I clearly understand. But, my G, you guys fall like flies, and yet you still hit like trucks. Just pick one or the other. Don't be both. Alright, what do we got over here? We got more rock candy. Hooray! I can use it to exploit that bug even more. Even though I've already mentioned before that I'm probably not going to do it again, because it's kind of boring. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if... And I'm only saying if there is a level cap, which considering that a game this old, there has to be some sort of level cap. 
there is a level cap, like let's say level 99 or something. The event that, that does happen, I might just end up using the... the whatchamacallit? I might just end up using the rock candy just to boost my stats. And I'm just and I'm just saying if I end up hitting the level cap. If I don't hit the if I don't end up hitting the level cap, then I'm not gonna do it. At least not for this save file. If for every god knows reasons I play Earthbound again on my own time, then I'll do it. I'll 100 percent do it. But other than that, I don't feel comfortable doing that just because well I've already mentioned before, it's kind of a little bit new it's kind of a little bit cheating. If you think about it. It's not as bad as this though. I honestly I'd rather prefer doing the rock candy than having to deal with these exploding assholes each and every single time. Let's see, ladder to our left. What do we have over here? Bottle of DX water. Yes sir, I will take that. Actually, is it right now just because I know Pooh is down like and he's down like 30. What do you have over here? Hmm. I take the ladder. Take the ladder that goes up here. Should I take the one that left? I'm going. I'm gonna go to the one that takes me to the left. God damn it! There's an enemy is here as well. Fucking hell. Alright, now that I came up from this ladder, what do we got here? We have a couple of life noodles. We also have a hole. I swear to god, if this hole leads me to another place that I've been before, I'll be upset. But I will take this magic butterfly. What's up, Moai? Moai? I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it, Mr. Wikipedia? Moai. Moai? There you go. Thank you very much. This is the Earth. Oh my, I should have never talked to you. Fucking hell. What do I got over here? Luxury turkey. Luxury jerky. What the hell is luxury jerky? Oh shit, I didn't mean to go. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, you know what? I'll actually take four of these over that one asshole. That one asshole with the lightning and whatnot. I'll take four of these over one of them any day of the week. Alright, well, what do we got here? We have another ladder. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll take him on. Oh, come on! I was right behind him! How are you not gonna tell me I wasn't right behind him? Anyways, I know this. I know this asshole is the one who's hiding the um, stupid broken antenna thing, Majiggy, that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> it's a fucking one in 128 chances. Why do you people gotta do this to me? For real, one in 128 odds of those. Actually, I don't know what the odds are those in percentages. To be completely honest. Can I get it? Who oh, would you look at that? I did it! I actually did get it! Well, at least I don't have to worry about these guys uh, later on. Are you joking me? <laughs> Are you joking me? This is the ladder I came... This is the ladder that I said, you know what? I won't take this. Well, on the bright side, at least I know what's down there. I'll give you that, I know it's down there. The only downside is that I still have to find my way to get up the ladder again. But on the plus side from that, if I didn't go down this ladder, I wouldn't have gotten that broken item that I was talking about earlier. On the con side, I have to deal with these two. Oh, would you look at that? We got there pretty quickly, if you ask me. There's a rabbit's foot inside. Rabbit's foot do. Be equipped on your body, it protects you from paralysis, and increases your speed in a big way. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wait, I forgot. Where's body? Wait, that's Ness. Oh, it gives me less defense. But it did say speed, so I'm assuming it's better than the crystal charm that I have for Ness. Oh, look into it. Especially considering that this asshole is right here. Give me a moment. And of course he shows up. Alright, so the rabbit's foot literally only gave me an increase in defense by one. Literally by one. On the plus side, look at the speed! Look at this actual speed! 73! I'm more faster than Paula? I'm more faster than Jeff and I'm more faster than Pooh! That is quite the speed if you ask me. I just realized it probably would have been in my best interest to actually life up before hitting record again. Fuck. Alright, everyone's healed up. Everyone's sauced up. The only one who's missing anything is Ness, but he's only missing two PSI points. No point in bitching around with that, so... Finally got here. This is the seventh Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Electro Spectre? Did I read that right? Shit, come on, Ness. Why does everything have to be with everything for you? Regardless, it's time to use the, uh, whatchamacallit. I already forgot what it was called. The defense shower, there we go. Time to use the defense shower. I'm just gonna use a shield killer right away because I don't know if he has a shield or not, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack if I'm not gonna attack if he. What do you mean I couldn't use it really well? What do you mean? What do you actually mean? You're joking me! All right, so he did. Have, so he did have a shield. Asshole had a shield this entire time. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, just look at that. It, it didn't work on anyone. So, what do you mean this didn't know how to use it really well? What, is the only one person in particular supposed to use it? Whatever. It's, it's snake bag time. It's time to poison this guy. Uh, what else can I do? What else can I do? Uh, I genuinely cannot think of anything else I could do, so... Okay, I, underst I understand that the snake wasn't gonna do that much. I understand that the snake wasn't gonna do that much. 1 HP is still kind of a little depressing, not gonna lie. But, you could have at least poisoned him! Oh, this isn't this isn't going as well as I thought it would. Actually, actually, let's use PSI Flash. Let's use PSI Flash. No reason for me to be this formal. No reason for me to give this man as much respect as I'm giving him right now. This, I didn't mean to defend. Whatever. I'm pretty sure the multi ball rock is gonna take care of him. Did not work. Cool. It's a lot of multi ball rockets that I heard. Still not enough to kill him. Still have no clue what he's bad against. Wait a minute, I just remembered. <laughs> this is a sanctuary, right? So that means that, in theory, the room right next to him should heal me up. Fuck it, I'm going all the way. I'm going balls to the fucking wall. Uh, should I use another multi bottle? Kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to waste more money on multi bottles. But they're so fun. They're so fun. Uh, would you look at that? At least I didn't have to use it. At least I didn't have to use my multi-bottle. 
He's dead. This is about to reach level 80, Jesus. I still hate that PSI rocking Omega. 90 PSI power. And for, for what? 400 damage? There's no way you could tell me that's justifiable. There is literally no way you could tell me that's a justifiable cost. I'm Ness. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Uh, what? What? What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall? <laughs> or are they... No. W was it actually Ness's thoughts being written out? What the hell was that? What the actual hell was that? That's cool, but at the same time, that's so fucking creepy. I saw a vision of his father holding him. This is soundstone recording the melody of Lum Lumen? Lumine? Lemon? Hall. I'm gonna just call it Lumen Hall. Sounds better. Uh, did I go down the wrong hole? What the fuck? Where am I? Are you kidding me? I don't even have a run button. Where am I? <laughs> Dog, where the f where the actual hell am I? I move so fucking slow as well. What is that up there? Where am I? <laughs> And god damn This is this is the part and this is the part of the episode where once again I bitch about the fact that I still have no run button whatsoever. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I still have no run button whatsoever. The hell was that? Oh shit. Are you joking me? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? The ego orb? Why is his face so <laughs> detailed? Why is his face actually so detailed? And he dies, just like that. Big ego, huh? Oh shit, what is that? <laughs> what is that now? The wetnosaur? Doesn't sound good. What is he again? Oh, uh, what is he bad against? On the roll of PSI fire. Uh, of course. Hey, you know what? Maybe it's time that I should use some PSI fire, actually. Now maybe it's in my best interest just to take this guy out just a little bit faster. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use PSI Fire Beta. If I'm gonna use PSI Fire, I should really use Omega or Gamma, but they just take up a lot of... Just use up a lot of like PSI and whatnot. I do not want to go... See, I can't pass the lake. It's very cool. What is this thing that's over here? It looks like a, t a, a TNT minecart. It's a present. It's brain food. Cool. I'll take it, I guess. 
Really, Dad? You're gonna call me right now. As soon as I'm about to... Beat the absolute ever-living shit out of this ego orb. Thank you. You ruined the mood. You ruined the mood. I still can't get over the fact that how his face is just so... Detailed. Out of all the enemies that I've fought in so far, he's the most detailed out of anyone. The only exception to that would be probably, um... What's his face? Belch. That's only from audio. Also, skip sandwich, you say? This thing was never really useful. Oh, for healing, so... 6 HP. Cool. I feel like I'm not moving any more faster at all! Alright, what if I give- what if I gave it a Ness? Nope. Not moving any faster whatsoever. This is a crime. This is a crime. Who thought it was a good idea for me to be this tiny and small? Ugh. What do we have over here? Case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Big ass giant fucking sign. You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel that earthquake a little while ago? A little while ago. You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue spring... The blue springs are great for recovering health. Red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. Jeez, what are the odds that it came out just when I talked with him? The bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. All I'm literally doing right now is I'm just trying to hug the walls of these of this place. God forbid that. God forbid that I can't use a map here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just strain the player as much as we can. You know, fuck him. He shouldn't have a map here at all. You know. What the hell is that purple thing over there? Purple dinosaur? It better get- where- holy shit, he's big. Uh, Come on, Ness. Come on, you, you, you just- you, you gotta tell me, you gotta tell me. What? What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Just use the defense shower. Just use the defense shower! Come on, Ness! What is so wrong about using a spray? I'm gonna lose my hair over this. And I use shield twice. Fuck. Well, at least Paula's shield is better. I don't recall him I don't recall Jeff saying if he was a mean uh weak to anything so I'm gonna assume fire just like the other guys you can never go wrong with a PSI flash omega or a PSI star storm now that I'm using all this PSI maybe it's a good idea for me to go back to the geyser Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at fucking that? I can't use any physical attacks on him or else it's just gonna get deflected. Cool. Look, I don't know what this guy wants. I don't know how much health he has. I just want him gone. Dude, how is he still not dead? Okay, so he's not immune to anything. He's not weak to anything, I guess. Fuck. Um... 
I really don't know what to tell you, Jeff. I don't want you to die or whatnot just because you're trying to hit this man. Don't worry, I'm trying my best here. And he's dead, let's go! Quite a lot of XP. I don't know if it was worth it though. Especially considering how much I PSI I wasted on him. But at the very least I got this. The C pendant. Interesting, we have another pendant. Interesting. Be equipped on your body, it protects you from fire, freeze, and flash attacks. Hmm. I think I'll take it. I'll give this to my boy Jeff. And I give it a pull up. There's a little bit more extra defense, but on the bright side, it does protect me from fire and freeze, as well as flash, which is what the night pendant was good for me. Because God forbid, I I hated I hated being flashed, genuinely. Now the thing is, who do I give the other pendants to? I feel like I should give. Oh fuck! This is now. This is now. This is something. Do I give the night pendant to Ness? Because on one side it protects me from flash attacks, but on the other, Ness loses out on all of his um, speed. So I'll think of that a bit. I'll weigh the options out. What do you have here? Guts capsule? Guts capsule? I'll take it! That I will 100% give to Ness, and nothing will stop me. My boy Ness needs as much guts as he can. I want to see crits from him for days. Would you look at that? Looks like we found civilization. Who are you, my good sir? A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heart and heart here trending. Heart? Hearts are ending? Whatever. I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. No! Come on, dude! Aww! <laughs> I don't think turning back the hands of time will help me with that at all. But please, my good sirs, let me in! You guys smell really good. Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door and get you out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I'll let you out. Thank you for the tender, tender crowd. Awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. Hey, would you look at that? The tender crowd came in useful at all. Uh, came in useful after all. Why don't you see the talkative mystery rock? That rock really jabbers away. Oh, that's the rock. The rock over there. Thank you for coming all the way to this primitive country. Must be tired to say- 400?! Hell no! We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's why my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. Finally came, Ness. Finally, you talked to me. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? You're the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours, it's the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step and Annette? Boy, do I ever. That is one of your sanctuary. It is, it is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There is a monster that was protected it. There is a monster that protected it. There we go. I can't English really, really well. The monster was influenced by the power of the place must have beaten those monsters. Must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. 
The soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots. You can finally see your world. What, my Minecraft world? <laughs> I'll tell you all of the power spots. One, giant step in a net. Two, lily put steps in peaceful rest valley near Tucson. Three, milky well in grapefruit in grapefruit falls in Saturn Valley. Four, rainy circle found by Jeff in winters. Five, magnet hill at the edge of the city of Forside. Six, pink cloud which Pooh knows. Seven, and lumen hole where the shining lichen lives in the cave. Eight. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. Do not f if you do not fail, you may upset Gygus' plans. Understand this? Time will come. A time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It's fast approaching. Peace, thanks a lot, asshole. Now I'm gonna have to fucking sleep with the idea that the whole fucking universe is on my own shoulders. As if I wasn't already sleeping bad because of that. Didn't you know that the Tenda up above have some particularly beautiful women? They're so shy though. They're the same Tenda as those above ground. You seem different. Yeah, you know, the Tenda up there are shy and don't like to talk. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide Tenda. I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. My name is Ego Stike. You know if I can do anything. Shall I loan you some money? If you want to withdraw, I will charge you a handling fee. That's equal to the- No! No, not at all. I don't think you've ever really gotten into bad trouble. Bullshit. Why would I do that? Tenda would like to come to talk to the lost underworld because we couldn't s What? Tenda who would like to talk come to the lost underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. We established a separate tribe. Hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. Let's play store. My friend Igo loves this game, so I help you. Ooh, baby, I... Give me one moment as I check everything that we have over here. Alright, so I am back once again. I did a little bit of storage management and whatnot. And as you can see here, I ended up getting the ultimate bat. I'm sticking with the rabbits for for Ness because I was also looking to how much speed he gives. He gives 40 speed. Ness is fucking quick as fuck. He's fast as fuck, boy. I really do not want to get rid of all the speed for Ness. Genuinely, because speed is actually pretty good. And, uh, <laughs> Jesus, Paula does not have any more stuff at all. Also, I found out that the only person who can, use, who can actually use the defense shower is Jeff. Which doesn't make any sense, because with the defense spray, anybody can use it, but with the defense shower, only Jeff can use it? What the fuck? Regardless, it means that's less space that I can use my multi ball. This means less space that I can have more multi ball rockets. You mentioned before C pendant is there, and I also had the Gaia beam, which was from the broken antenna that I fixed. Yeah, it's pretty good, not gonna lie. Like, whoops, that's poo. Look at that offense! Look at that offense! I'm also glad that uh, we also got this C pendant, like I so said, for, for Jeff, since it's supposed to. Um, what you call it? It's supposed to prevent, uh, not prevent, but it's supposed to be like reduce the effectiveness of like fire and like uh, freeze attacks as well as flash attacks. It mitigates that. Uh, what is this cave over here? Uh, why does that look like the Skyrunner? Anyways, looks like that I can't do shit in this cave, so not gonna bother. I'm just gonna have to keep looking for... Fuck, what was it called? The Fire Springs or something like that? It, yeah, uh... Other than that, I... 
more uh, ugh, more inventory management. There we go. I genuinely cannot think. Uh, with Pooh, all all I give him is his brain food lunch and his. Not gonna go anywhere near that dinosaur. All I just gave him is his water and a brain food lunch since that helps him the most. The cloak of kings. Would you look at that? I'm assuming this is for Pooh. Increases defense. You know what? I'll take it, but that means that just means that I'm gonna have to do more inventory management for Pooh. God damn it. Whatever. We have all of Pooh's items. We are stacked, baby. Absolutely stacked. Now the question is how far down can I go without this dinosaur looking at me funny? Shit, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with him anyways. Uh, do I really want to use all my PSI? Damn it! Can I use paralysis on him, please? Very much love it if I can do a little bit of paralysis, you know. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute! Da -da 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 -da, shield killer. I'd very much love that right now. Uh, do I really want to use- Ah, fuck it. There's no harm in giving everyone a shield. There's absolutely no harm in me doing that. Paralysis, paralysis, paralysis! It did not work! Let's go, baby! On the bright side, everyone's getting sussed up. That's what I like to see. He has no more shield, so he can go to hell. Oh, would you look at that, baby? You really thought, huh? You really thought. Come on, guys. I want to see massive damage. Come on, S. Crit. No, come on. <laughs> no crits. No crits. Oh, my God. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, wait, no, 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 I have a good idea. If we keep attacking him just like this, somebody's gonna land the crit eventually. Or that can happen. I do not very much appreciate the fact that I lost a lot of PSI, and I lost a lot of, whatchamacallit. Oh, oh! <sighs> Let me in, damn it! Oh my god. I'm just gonna have to wait for the stupid geyser to appear, don't I? Well, at the very least, I should at least check out what this thing is. In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. And of course, the geyser erupts as soon as I'm gone. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Oh, fine, I'll wait for the geyser. Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, what am I supposed to do here in the geyser? Yes, thank you very much. On, let's see all those stats go up. Let's go, baby. Let's all let's see all those stats go up. I hope that's everyone at their max. Let's see here. Ness is at max. So is Paula. So is Jeff. So is Pooh. Would you look at that? Good thing that the this little bird over here can also um help save my progress. So. I think I'll end it off here. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.